I've been playing Planet Coaster for over a year now since it was released on console, and since then I've been improving my coaster building skills, especially when it comes to smoothing. That's how I can get coasters like this, into coasters like this. This is my tutorial on how I smooth coasters in Planet Coaster. So for this tutorial I'm just going to use the simple vector launched coaster, just to show how I do the coaster smoothing. The first method you could always do is to just use standard length track pieces of about 8 meters. I'm going to try and do some sort of inversion just for all my different, all the different methods I'm going to show just so you can see how it's uh, best done. You can just do like a standard, I think it's like a heartline roll kind of thing I've tried to go for. There we go. Just with that at the end. There you go, so this is with the 8 meter pieces. Obviously if we go on this now just to see what it's like, you'll see that it's not very smooth and it's not particularly well profiled, very janky. So one way of smoothing this obviously that I think most people will probably go for is just to grab quite a few of the track pieces and spam the smooth button. So obviously Planet Coaster doesn't really deal with that too well. So the best thing you're going to do is like smooth the individual pieces onto each other, which it can make a difference, but because of the track pieces being so large, it doesn't really help in creating like an actual accurate inversion. As you can see if we go into the... Uh, into the track view, it's, it's smoothed it out but it's still not the most accurate inversion like just where it pulls out at the end. So how I would do this, and I think how a lot of people would do it, is using the 4 meter method. So this is where you get a section of track that's 4 meters long, and this gives you the ability to make much more accurate inversions. So if we start making the inversion here, obviously you can see you can make much smaller track movements and it just helps to make the inversion a lot more accurate depending on what you're doing because you can get these like smaller more accurate movements so this isn't a particularly great inversion but it's a, it's a good example so you can see how the train goes through it there in its raw format it's going to look really janky just because of all the tiny little movements that the track has to do but then it gives you the opportunity to use that how you smooth the 4 meter method, where you grab one of the track pieces and the next three track pieces after it, press the smooth button once, and then go on to the next piece. So you smooth that piece and the next three after it, press smooth, next piece, next three after it, smooth again. And you just keep going like that to do these, that and the next three track pieces, that one, next three, and just make your way to the end. And obviously you can do multiple passes of this as well just to make sure it's extra smooth. So. Again. Like that. So if we ride on this one, you'll see that it is a lot smoother than before. And obviously these four meters gives you the opportunity to make some much more accurate elements. And then what I've started doing now, I'll just turn these support up. What I've started doing now is if you take, so let's say if we take this piece here. and you can delete up, I normally do about three pieces at a time and then auto complete it. So this gives you one solid piece of track but with the same profile as them four meter parts. So it gives you a much smoother ride. We'll do the same for here so we can move three of the track pieces, auto complete it, and then I'm gonna have to build an extra piece here. Three track pieces, auto complete it. So that whole inversion now is now into three track pieces. And because it's a lesser track piece count, it also goes down in your percentage, which is good for if you're building bigger parks as well, and makes the inversion much smoother. So that's how I build a lot of my coasters. And you can see here in the episode 2 of Aventura Italia, which is one of my park series, where I built this new generation to Min Blitz. You can see that I built it originally with the 4 meter method. As you can see here, these pieces are all 4 meters long, just because these, this part of the track ended up being quite smooth. But then for the, some of the more complex inversions, like this inversion here, I built it with the 4 meter method originally and then went back and deleted certain parts so that the track pieces are now these 12 meter long pieces. I've done that for all these parts, so these obviously all used to be 4 meters. That one's still 4 meters. A few of these are. And then in the more 
the like complex inversions area I've gone into like the bigger track pieces like the, these ones are much bigger along here back to four meter and then into the much bigger track sections for the uh, smaller inversion parts here like the inversion of the water down here is only made up of just two big track pieces just to make it as smooth as possible so I built these with the each individual four meter track pieces smoothed it all out to how I wanted it and then once the ride was complete I deleted a few of them and then did the auto complete and it would take the path that them four meter pieces took but with one single track piece making it much much smoother. As you can see here comparing the two POVs from before and after when I did this it makes it much much smoother in these certain elements. Which really helps to give your ride a much more smoother and more importantly realistic fit. And that's it for the tutorial, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see any other tutorials because I've got a few more lined up in the next few weeks. See you in the next video.